Are we ready then? Okay. This is John Bishop, the fella of the telly who has lots of mates, likes a bevy and who tells a few gags from time to time. Not forgetting the millions, of course, you have raised for various charities. Thank you, Robert. Kind of you to say so. This is Robert. Robert Peston, that is. My first guest on Getting Under the Skin with the Bishop. And for those of you that don't know who Robert is, he is the bloke of the news who talks about business and stuff like that. Yes, I suppose in layman's terms. Right, first off, Robert, I've got a question from one of me mates, from Xavier, that is, and his question is a question to Robert Peston. What, what, Pesto, do you prefer? Is it the green or is it the red? Now, give it some proper talk now. I would have to say the red, definitely the red. Me and Xavier too. He'll be pleased about that. Now, the question what everybody wants to ask Robert Peston. Why, why do you talk with the silly, exaggerated intonation? Well, personally, I don't think there's anything unusual with my delivery. I could say the same about, oh, oh, there is, mate. And worse off, there's no gags at the end either. You go murmur, 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 pounce. Murmur, 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 pounce. You're like a, like a, a viper, you are, Robert. Hugh Edwards will be constantly throwing his water over his shirt, I'm sure. So, how do we fix this mess? Well, Hugh normally has another shirt on standby. No, no, how do we fix this mess? That's the title of your book, isn't it, Robert? Oh yes, that's right, huh? Robert, Robert, I feel duty bound to give you an answer to that question. Go, go to the friggin' barber shop. Look, I too have the floppy hair, but mine, mine is stylish. Yours is like the book title says, a mess. Well, it's actually all about economics. What? You seriously saying to me you can't afford a haircut? On that BBC, I mean now ITV, mega salary of yours? No, no, the book, it's about the economy. Listen, listen, Robert. I'm just an ordinary bloke with lots of mates. Economics, economics, there's a lot to it, isn't there? I mean, what is macroeconomics, I ask? Well, macroeconomics is a branch of economics dealing with the performance and structure of the economy as a whole. Well, well. My idea of macroeconomics, Robert, is going to the cash and carry to buy stuff cheaper. Now, moving on to matters abroad, yeah, Greece. Now, they've got themselves into a right pickle there, haven't they? Yes, it's going to be a long and painful road to recovery for the Greeks. There you go again, like a bloody viper. Painful, painful to the ears you are, mate. Now, me and me mates, though, we've come up with three things, three things to stimulate and sort out 
the Greek economy, yeah, to bolster the coffers and to get things back on an even keel. Interesting, I can't wait to hear these, these initiatives. To be fair to the Greeks, Robert, we've all, all of us, sometime in our lives, have made terrible financial decisions. Even great managers. Roy Hodgson, you know, the Liverpool manager at the time, forked out 3.5 million, yeah, 3.5 million pounds in 2010 for Paul Koncheski. Yes, Paul, Paul Koncheski. Yes, a terrible bit of business. Have you ever thought <laughs> of working as a scarecrow, Robert? You'd certainly have no problem getting rid of the birds, all right. And you've got the ready-made her for it as well. Now, back to Greece then. Number one fix. Charge a flat fee of 10 euros per day for all of the sun loungers used by the Brits and the Germans. No, no, actually change that. The Germans, they should pay 15 euros instead. I have to question whether... Number two, number two fix. For Greece, for the olives what are stuffed, charge more premium prices. In fact, the stuffed olives, they should be treated like royalty, like the Thornton's chocolates. What do you think of Kalamata? I don't know Robert. I haven't seen him play. We'll get on to the football in a minute. I know you're a big Gunners fan, but this, this is more important. My recovery plan for the Greeks. And number three fix, the real difference maker. This is, to say the least, radical. Take out, and by that I mean eliminate the whole of the Bertoli family. We should wipe them out completely. My understanding is that the Bertoli family are Italian. Italian? Well, they're spreading. They're spreading into Greece. And that olive oil and the unsaturated fats is having the effect of making the Greeks live just far too long meaning an ever-expanding pension pot requirement. Exactly, Robert. This is, this is Bishop Economics. I may not be Alan Smith. I think you mean Adam Smith. Alan Smith is the former Arsenal centre-forward and now Sky Sports pundit. Alan, Adam, just leave it alone, will you, Robert? Laissez faire, exactly, the philosophy of Adam Smith. So, are you still with me? We take out or eliminate the entire Bertoli family and then, then we helicopter in loads and loads of utterly butterly. Problem solved. Ah, uh, problem solved with Bishop Economics, if only it were that simple. Now, knowing that you, Robert, are an Arsenal fan, that is correct, there you go again. I bet you terrify the kids on Halloween night. I was thinking though, Arsene Wenger, he's adopted the um, austerity measures for quite some time at the Arsenal. Yes, he's certainly taken a firm grip on the purse strings, but he shouldn't be vilified for that. He'd be a strong candidate, I reckon, for the Greek finance minister's job. Compared to your team, Liverpool, 
who've been extravagant, frivolous, wasteful, granted. But I've got to say, they are bloody good Christmas parties. I liken Liverpool to the Italian economy, stagnated and underperforming for over a decade. And I liken the Arsenal to every TV show which stars Keith Lemon. Fucking shit. Yes, Keith Lemon may have gone off the boil a little bit. Off the boil? He hasn't even reached the friggin' hot plate yet. Now, before we finish, I have one more question from another of me mates. This time from the madman, yeah, the madman, Xander. I must say you have some surprisingly posh mates, Xavier and Xander. Posh? No. No. Definitely not. I simply put it down to too much of the X chromosome and their parents being alphabetically challenged. I'm just an average bloke who likes a bevy with his mates and tells a few gags from time to time. Are you taking the piss, Robert? I'd watch it, you. Here's the question from me not so posh mate and he's a cracking lad. Bit of a madman though. Xander, he asks, have you, have you, Robert Peston, ever seen Fiona Bruce in the nutty? No, disappointingly not, but I have seen Evan Davis just in his um, pants. Not a pretty sight, I would think, Robert. I would say that's on a par with Arsene Wenger auditioning to become one of the dream boys. No wonder you've decided to run off to the ITV, the home of Keith Lemon. Good luck to you. Robert Peston, it's been a pleasure. Now, go and get that mop of yours sorted out. <laughs>